Hello, welcome to part one of some styling tips for you. So whenever we are completing a house, obviously we always do the styling finishes at the end. So as you can see here, we have a multitude of styling pieces that are ready to go into this beautiful home. So I thought, what a great opportunity to show you what we do and why. So first up, you can see that we have a million different pieces, but we are working with the color palette of the home. So this home is very much black, white and greys. We have elements of pattern and texture brought into the home as well to elevate that black, white and grey finish. So that obviously also applies to our styling elements as well. And we always include objects of different shapes, heights and sizes. So right now you can see that we have large objects here. We have different shapes and sizes. We've got smaller objects. We've got linear type shapes. So this balances out our styling with our clusters. So whenever you're buying your styling elements, you've got to remember to mix it up with your shapes, sizes and heights. So part two, we're going to show you how to do it. Hi, welcome to part two of the styling. So we have been styling all day with this house and now I'm going to walk you through what we do with our shelf styling. So before you saw exactly all the pieces that we had all over the dining table, we had the tall pieces, the sculptures, the different shapes, different heights, but we worked with our colour palette of the home, which is the grey, black and white. So now I'm going to walk you through the finished shelving unit. So we have open shelving in this unit, as you can see. Our backing is a white wall. So we do have quite a predominant colour palette of the blacks and the darker objects to work against the white wall. You will also see that we have clustered a lot of our elements uh, in groups on each shelf. When we started our styling, we worked with our larger options first. So we looked at the shapes and styles of our larger elements and then we worked out how that was going to be placed on each of the shelves. So you can see here we've got our height of our objects here, which is our candlesticks. We use a taller object here to cluster. We have a taller object here and some larger ones at the top on their own to really elevate the shelving unit. Then we work down from there, but we're also considerate of how far away our blacks are with our whites and not grouping too much black or too much white in the one section. So again, starting with your taller objects first, working down on each of your shelves to your next size of objects. So you can see nothing is at the same level with the styling and that is the key when you are styling that you don't have all the same height or all the same shape. We're drawing our eye around the styling, low to high, different shape, different texture, different height, again, different shape, different height. We have a sculptural element here and then we've used some branches to bring that styling cluster together and add a little bit of a textural point to the styling. Again, we've got a different shape and level and pattern. Moving over to the next shelf, we don't have too much black and white objects grouped together. Again, different shape, different height, pattern, texture to again a different height. And then through this level here of our book, different shape, different height, dropping down to the next level of a different shape, a different height and a different colour. So you can see how I repeat myself all the time. Different shape, different height, 
different color and it's about grouping those elements together and then moving those around the shelves. I can tell you, we just don't put this out and be like, amazing, we're done. It takes us quite a while to work out the exact placement, but you start with again, your color rule and what you want to use in the home based on what your finishes and styling looks like. And then work with your different shapes, different heights and grouping your clusters basically. So that is our beautiful styling feature for our client's home. And you guys will be seeing all of the beautiful home very soon. And we hope you love it. Thanks. Thanks.